Number of applicants, 136,114. Trying to be a fucking idol. Were we speeding through the process? I'm not gonna lie. How did people not know that like she was a daughter of her? Just looking at her eye, like she's the only person who has those type of eyes. Damn, she that beautiful. Everybody has a stop look. Yeah, so she like she don't need it. This is true. Trying to make up for what happened before, that's essentially what's what our... You know, if you discussed who you were, uh, he would understand. Oh. <laughs> This man's plotting to kill somebody. What do you mean? He's like, I gotta find this shit out. I'm surprised it was that long that they were together. なかなか忘れられる体験じゃない。この仕事を長くやればやるほどわかる。あんな奇跡は二度も起きない。そろそろオーディションの到来の電話があるからね。受かれば向こう様の所属になる契約でしょ。うちより<笑><笑> Oh, did you get it? Oh, she didn't make it? But, I mean, you can take it as you got closer and closer. You also don't make it all the time on your first try. That's why they tell you to sign back up. いろんな政治もあるし、実力が正しく審査されることに期待してもいけない。ありがとう、監督。スペンルックライクイズドラッグディーラー。この妹も騙せるんだから、役者としてはなかなかだ。本物の担当者から電話かかってきたらどうするル
可愛い妹に同じ道を歩ませたくないって気持ちには賛同できるわ私だってルビーを娘だと思って育ててきたこの子は絶対守ってみせるでも娘だからこそルビーの気持ちは止められないどうやもう実はそっちの道こうなっていたのよいい悪いとか語る前にやることがあるちょっと事務所の名刺借りるよえ何する気とりあえずルビーがスカウトされたグループの実情を探る地下アイドルもピンからキリまであるろくでもない運営だったら議論の余地もないだろうナラちゃんは今イリブって事務所で活動してるんだよねはいうちはそこよりいい条件を出したいと思う今どういう感じの条件で働いてるの撮影枚数に応じてバックがあってそれがメインの収入そこから衣装代とかもろもろ引かれていって移動費とかメイク代とかも自腹だから月収10万円いかないことがほとんどかな。That's low. <笑>私は真面目にやってるのに運営がしっかりしてないから跳ねないんだよ。メンバー内の空気最悪だし何人か抜ける気配してて運営もなんかスカウトしまくってるって聞くしいちごプロに移籍できるなら私は。I'm sorry, you didn't make it. I know she to ya, Tsureki, Ume, any tie sir, Humanga, Ali Mashina, Uasa, Umun, and the Zarani, or Biko Machino to Kimo, I back an inkid at the Munda Kara, he kid the Bonomichi son, no Uasanga Tatsio, and a group in Ruby or Hiroakino, I can I, Ante, I thought the net to Nibara might. So you, Jordan, Jordan, Janaikido. This man's over here destroying businesses. The Yarasir Tsmoriwanai, Skunaktomo. He's just, yeah, he's way too controlling in this situation. Like, I understand what happened to her, but that's not everybody, you know? But he's more fearful, I guess, of his dad finding out and then, like, who he assumes is the person who did it, his dad finding out, hey, that bitch looked familiar, and then all of a sudden try to get her killed. Just another day of shooting down my sister's hopes and dreams. Ruby, you're a good person, right? Yes. I'm a good person. 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 You know she died, right? It's like, what the fuck? Be just like her. Yeah, she got stabbed. If you're a good person, then you're going to go to the office. いちごプロは十数年ぶりに新規アイドルグループを立ち上げます。Oh, okay. That's a nice dynamic. Essentially, it gets her away from like the bullshit, cause that's the other stuff is just nah, <laughs> nah. Underground, like nah. 芸能家入るために必要な手続きでもあるから怒らないでよアクア。別に反対してない。アクアくんよく来たわね。監督起きてますか？寝てるけどいいわよ。叩き起こしちゃって。おお、来たか。お、一斉そうですま。バイトもできない年だから、現場で経験を積むこともできない。だから監督の下で、弟子みたいな形で、映画制作の手伝いをさせてもらってる。なんか。いいのかよ、お兄ちゃん的には。どこの馬の骨ともわからんグループでやられるよりは。Yeah, now you can actually keep track of it. Because he's like, you can't, it's unrealistic to stop it. I'm pretty sure he just wants to lay low so he can kind of like sneak up on a motherfucker. ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、
もう40半ばだろう親元からそろそろ離れたら都心に広い実家あると出るメリットないの俺みたいなやつ意外と多いからクリエイターあるあるある He's so defensive Hey you chill bro It's alright 各自も買わなきゃ当たらねえ子供部屋おじさんの言うことって響かねえな俺にも愛と同じような才能があると信じてた時期があったいやいやいやうるせえなお猿さんかよ確かに愛はすごかったよだけどお前は愛にはなれないし Exactly you gotta be yourself It's like both you and your sister are trying to match that and it's like you never will 一度や二度の挫折でひよってんじゃねえそういう言葉は使える武器全部使ってから吐け凡人ずらするには10年早いよ。役者やりてんだろ。顔に書いてある。うん。アクアは役者さん。She didn't want you to be one. 俺は。アクアク。今、掃除がなんかいいこと言おうとしてたところだろ。入ってくんな。That's also the problem with not living by yourself. It's kind of funny because it's kind of framed like a actual. Kids of celebrities and how they try to reach that height, but they never real. It's like you gotta be yourself. He previously passed it. That's a chick that was in the movie with them. I never forgot you. What? So, like, the thing about this is, like, he's so dedicated into doing this that he's just kind of, like, fucking around a little bit too much. Like, <laughs> You know what I mean? He's so driven that he's losing himself within the revenge already. But granted, it's been like, what, 12 years or some shit like that? So it's like, it's, it's been a long time. So I understand why he's just been thinking about it, contemplating, especially since he's, you know, a 30 year old guy who went into a kid's body. Then all of a sudden now he's, you know, he'll be like 40 or whatever. So he's thinking of every way possible trying to do all this stuff. But him also trying to like hamper his sister's situation was not necessarily good. All that does is, you know, cause her to reach out to other places. She could have been a part of a legitimate thing, but then you're like, nope. Uh, then going into some fucking underground shit, so it makes you have to recover and then become a part of an actual group. At least it's with them. That's what it should have been. Uh, and that's what she kind of wanted to be anyways, because her mom was underneath it. But like I was saying before, it's kind of interesting to have this sort of situation because you have these two who are looking so much up to I, but they would never necessarily be her and they kind of have to just fit into their own mold which is you know it, it, it's highly reminiscent of a lot of people who are within like acting especially acting acting and sports uh especially they feel like failures if they don't live up to like the same sort of potential as uh their parents um and it's not just them per se but it's also um those around them like you know think about being michael jordan's kid right <laughs> or your lebron james kid or your denzel washington's kid or something like that like like these high these high priced people who these high pri highly prized people right who are like the top of their fields you would want you would like to see them doing it like there's some sort of nepotism for them to go in there and be as great as essentially everybody else but that's not necessarily the case um you know michael jordan's kids they ain't do shit <laughs> like for instance lebron trying to get his kids to do stuff so it's like 
you know, they they're so busy trying to fit into that. I'm gonna be just like my father. I'm gonna be just like you know my mother or stuff. But it's like at the end of the day, you gotta find your own routes. You can't necessarily go in there. And uh, him hampering his sister is not gonna do too much good. But she does need to kind of. I don't know. She doesn't necessarily need to move away from the idea. She does need to kind of focus on her stuff just to have an overall perspective because she already knows the system, but she's being aloof to it right now. She already knows how much she's getting paid. They already said this to her when she was a kid and stuff like that. So, I mean, so far, it's interesting for what we have. Of course, we had like a little tidbit with the director. He's, you know, he was spitting some knowledge about some stuff, even though he is still living with his mom and everything like that. Which is kind of funny because it's like you're literally talking to somebody who's actually in your age bracket, but you just don't realize it at this point in time. Either way, uh, good episode. Felt it was all right. Um, yeah, Aqua needs to take a step back. <laughs> That's all it is. Other than that, this is KYD. Like, comment, subscribe, and all that good shit. And I am out. Peace.